Well, now to new developments emerging tonight in that tragic accident that took the life of a young mother to be. Now, Kayla White was killed along with her unborn baby in a chain reaction crash on the Lodge Freeway. 7 Action News reporter Anu Prakash is live in the newsroom now with late breaking details. What have you learned, Anu? Well, Joanne and Jeff, the Oakland County Medical Examiner's Office tells us that Kayla died from thermal injuries or burns as well as smoke inhalation. And this is all coming about as questions are being raised about the vehicle that she was driving at the time of the crash. New concerns tonight over the safety of the Jeep Liberty. That's what 23-year-old Kayla White was driving on Tuesday afternoon when she was rear-ended and killed in a fiery crash along the lodge near Telegraph. The 2002 to 2007 model years of the Jeep Liberty have been under a recall since last year because of fuel tank fires following rear-end collisions. Clarence Ditlow, the executive director of the Center for Auto Safety, says the concern with those Jeep Liberties is that the fuel tank is located behind the rear axle, lower than the rear bumper. It's in a very they're vulnerable to rupture and a rear impact. And there have been over 100 deaths in Jeeps uh, with this type of fuel tank design. It's very much like the old Ford Pinto. The Oakland County Medical Examiner's Office tells 7 Action News that Kayla White died as a result of burns and smoke inhalation. White was eight months pregnant. She was on her way to work when police say a driver who wasn't paying attention slammed into the back of her Jeep Liberty. Good Samaritans tried to help, but the fire was too fierce and too fast. There is enough time where some uh, people that were on the scene were able to try to get to the vehicle and help her get out, um, but the fire took off so fast after that. Most of the time when a car catches on fire, it goes pretty fast, so um, they weren't able to. Helper. Chrysler has recommended using a trailer hitch on those recalled Jeep Liberty vehicles as an extra measure of safety. But in a statement, the company says, quote, analysis of the data confirms that these vehicles are not defective and are among the safest in the peer group. Chrysler Group regards safety as a paramount concern and does not compromise on the safety of our customers and their families, end quote. It's not known if Kayla White's Jeep Liberty had a trailer hitch, but Ditlow believes it wouldn't have made a difference. If you're struck from behind, you're, the tank is in a very vulnerable location. And in many of the cases, the striking vehicle goes under the bumper, goes under the trailer hitch, and hits the, uh, the tank itself. And that's just a recipe for disaster. Now, it is really important to point out that the investigation into the crash involving Kayla White is still going on. That is being done by Michigan State Police. We also did ask Kayla's parents today about the Jeep she was driving and that recall, but they said at this time they're just not in a position to comment. Live in the newsroom, Anu Prakash, 7 Action News. Such a tragedy, Anu. Thank you. The 2002 to 2007 model years of the Jeep Liberty have been under a recall, as Anu mentioned, since last year because of fuel tank fires following rear end collisions. ABC News has reporting that at least 51 people have died in rear impact crashes and fires. If you own one of these vehicles and you have any questions, you should contact your dealership.